this in the dark. Hi, this is Elizabeth Shiwata Pawan. I'm a medical doctor by profession and I'm trying to promote the um, the the Trinity, God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit loves and cares for us so much that he wants us to be healthy spiritually emotionally and physically and he has um, given us a lot of tools to be able to cope I know we are faced with a lot of uh, challenges for the past year and up to now and a lot of a lot of people are losing hope are giving up and I know it's easier said than done but we need to do it we need to practice it we need to get the help of the Holy Spirit because God so loved us that uh, he gave his life for us so that we will have a chance to go to heaven and he even gave us an, a helper you know when he went up to heaven he he sent the Holy Spirit, which is, um, the Holy Spirit is a very powerful tool for us. It is there, so we just have to, to engage it. Once you believe about that you have a God, who is all loving, he is all great, who is all uh, uh, knowing. It will um, how do I call it? Uh, activate it or becomes active in our life because we engage the uh, help of the Holy Spirit so tonight I would like to discuss about life by the Spirit but before I let me just pray for guidance the name Father Son Holy Spirit Amen Come Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your holy gifts. Let our weakness be penetrated with thy strength this very day, that we may fulfill all our duties consciously, that we may do what is right and just. Let our charities be such as to offend no one, hurt no one's feelings, so generous to pardon sincerely and wrong done to us. Assist us, Holy Spirit, in all the trials of life. Enlighten us in our ignorance, advise us, uh, us in our uh, doubt. Help us in all need and embarrassment. Protect us in temptations. Graciously hear us, O Holy Spirit, and pour thy light into our hearts, our soul, our mind. Assist us to live a holy life, to grow in goodness and grace. Amen. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bind all demonic forces, all forces of bad things, all negativity, all illness, sickness, infection, well, COVID. Uh, all uh, negativity, all health obstacles, professional obstacles, uh, financial obstacles, mountains, curse, strife, family division, relationship division, 
depression, anxiety, hatred, anger, doubt, confusion, and um, impatience. that have come against humanity, all of us, dear God, especially my family, relatives, and friends, acquaintances, enemies, because we, you love us all. Cover us with your precious blood that was shed for us on the cross. Mary, our mother, we seek your protection and intercession for the sacred heart of Jesus for us and our family. Surround us with your mantle of love, discourage the enemy. Saint Michael, our guardian angel, come defend us and our family against the evil ones that roam the earth. In your mighty name, Lord Jesus Christ, I bind and command all powers of evil to depart right now away from us, our homes and our land. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for your compassion. God, Amen. I was playing store. Anyway, um, as I was saying, um, we need the Holy Spirit, especially this time of crisis in our lives, because He knows uh, what we're going through and He will help us uh, pray to God to be able to put out our burdens. As in Galatians uh, 5, verse up to the 13 to 26. Let me read it. You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free, but do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh. Rather, serve one another humbly in love. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command love your neighbor as yourself if you bite and devour each other watch out or you will be destroyed by each other so i say walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit and the spirit what is con contrary to the flesh they are in conflict with each other so that you are not to do whatever you want but if you are led by the spirit you are not under the law the acts of the flesh are obvious sexual immorality impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passion and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. So it, 
this passage clearly tells us what to do. And it is in this time of our crisis, of our need, that the more we become, should become closer to the Holy Spirit. Involve Him in almost every moment of your life because He will guide you. He will guide us as He is guiding me. You know, the, the Spirit was given to us so that we'll be strong in our faith. He will guide us to the right path. He will um, um, he gives confirmation like he used other people or 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 a, another material like with me when uh, my children were young I had that prompting to start the uh, children's choir in our church that since I'm teaching my kids how to sing religious songs my prompting is why not teach the other kids because there's no children choir in our church and initially I was fighting it I was reasoning out that uh, um, you know my two kids are so hyper that they seem to be like four children instead of just two and uh, and they already you know a handful so I was telling I know why Lord you know I was resisting it and so I I have that uh, calling or a mission is being I'm being called for a mission um, as I have mentioned before I like uh, theatrical uh, Broadway musicals and so um, I was resisting it and then one time I was watching a uh, TV the TBN and there was a, a a doctor who who was doing uh, giving his testimony about uh, how it's easy to be an atheist how it's easy to be to don't need God because if you have the success if you have the power if you have the money you know then he was telling himself so why do I need God you know but then he got ill which he knows very well that less than 1% survives that uh, disease and so he was going in and out of uh, consciousness and when he goes into sleep or you know uh, become unconscious he begins to dream about little children you know that at first they look nice and wonderful they're all cute you know and then later on they turn to become uh, devils that were really tugging him you know pulling him to go to a dark room and so he was resisting I forgot the name of the the doctor but uh, I saw that uh, in TBN so he was resisting and because he had been atheist for a long time he doesn't know how to pray and then 
um, the only thing he remembered that time, you know, uh, was the song he l he learned from Sunday school, which is uh, "Jesus Love Me So." And uh, so, so I start to sing it. When I start to sing it, the little devils who was trying to scratch him, bite him, are as if they're getting burned. And so they are, they release him, and they, they're, they're, they are for so fearful that they disappeared. Because he was singing it loud, louder and louder and louder, you know, he was almost probably almost shouting, you know. So when he came came about and become conscious, he told his uh, son to to get the pastor that he respects he said that uh, he respects because he does what he says he, he does what he preaches and so the the pastor came and he asked for to pray with him a sinner's prayer and ever since that time he started to get better get better and now he's uh, uh, doing his testimony um, everywhere and and on TV so that confirmed my prompting it confirmed to me that uh, God wants the Holy Spirit wants me to teach the other children uh, religious songs you know so that's what I did I approached our pastor and you know our priest and told him and so I was able to gather like 25 children uh, that time we still have those cassettes um, so I uh, recorded 10 songs uh, to Filipino songs because it's a Filipino church and also I wanted my children to learn some Filipino songs and eight of the songs were were English so I um, asked I told uh, to made so I could make announcement that I have those tapes and I was giving only one month one month for them to every day when they pick up their kids or bring their the kids in the car to play the songs every day because that will help the kids memorize it so it you know i was able to do it and um, i obeyed him you know after some resistance but uh, now I uh, I could see some of the kids, and uh, and they remember. So um, we need to to involve the Holy Spirit. Um, and and this the fruits of the Spirit. It's very good for our health, you know. Uh, it, it's it the the this fruit of the spirit, uh, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Will make you calm. Because there's you know that there's a powerful God that is helping you you know holding you by the hand uh, especially now and it has there are several there has been several uh, 
um, studies that uh, showed that religious involvement um, if you have happiness you know that inner happiness uh, there's that peace the all these positive things increases our immunity and it has been proven that those people who are in who have strong faith or involved in their uh, religious activities have better uh, healing recovery and uh, you know those positive things that uh, it's there for us to take it's there for us to uh, to ask you know ask the Holy Spirit every day especially now that we're in so much crisis you know as a as a doctor I would like to be able to to partake to participate in healing of people and if if in uh, if in helping encouraging people to deepen their faith deepen their 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 positive thoughts could bring healing not only physically but spiritually and emotionally because you know our mind what we set on our mind sets the tone of our emotion so we've got to train our mind to to uh, follow the leading of the Holy Spirit we have to rest uh, as I heard earlier from one of the pastor I usually watch on YouTube uh, pastor uh, Joseph Prince you know that when we work you know, like we work on 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 things like you know uh, jealousy rage we, it gets consumed by hatred by uh, impurity um, drunkenness the Lord dressed you know but if we put our problems to him because he want us to rest then God works I like that that the way he said it you know um, so and he is telling us to put our problems to him and there is one um, This one I'm reading from uh, from the Faith and Health Connection by Del Fletcher. He wrote. He says, "We try to cope with the stressors of life, and to meet our basic needs of love, self-worth, acceptance, security, identity." By our, by our own resources and apart from God in ways that are unhealthy and sinful these uh, self-sufficient attitudes thinking patterns and behaviors often become habits that have a neg negative impact on our emotional spiritual and physical health so let's tune into the Holy Spirit which he would always lead the Holy Spirit would always lead us to Jesus especially now with this pandemic 
um, you know, everybody, you know, is are fearful because there's there are another surge of cases and death from this COVID nineteen, and we think of all negative thoughts. So we don't know how long we're gonna stay in in this earth. Are we gonna sleep ahead or we'll be left behind? So why don't we just prepare ourselves? Let's prepare ourselves so that uh, when we go, we are we are uh, in we we are with the Holy Spirit, so we could enter heaven and be with Jesus and all the other saints and angels. So let's let's be prepared. Let's always uh, ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. Even if we're with in grief because of a loved ones that have passed, we still have to involve the Holy Spirit so that we become strong, we become bold, you know, in fighting this uh, negative uh, attitudes, negative thinking. Because God wants us to be healthy. And there's there's even this paper I was just reading about how happiness can boost your immune system. And if you're peaceful, you're, you have all these uh, gifts, the fruits of the Holy Spirit, your 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 immune system will surely uh, increase. You know, where is that? I lost it. You know, see the fruits of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. And against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh and with, with its passion and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Because God loves us all. He wants us to be with Him. So let's, uh, let's keep the Holy Spirit busy with us. Because He loves us. Jesus loves us. The Trinity. That's why I titled my my um this is i i titled my youtube my uh my facebook and there's another one you know some of my uh, at some club that i uh join and i have i have the trinity cares because I would like that even if you don't watch this just with the title you can get something just with the with the name of the YouTube uh, we can derive something out of it you could get the lesson that you're not alone that you are with God loves us, that uh, He wants us to be well. And if we go, He wants He wants us to be with Him and not with the devil. So, let's, let's do it. 
we need we need to do constantly uh, talk to them talk 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 to the holy spirit talk 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 to jesus of course you need to listen too you know yes uh, sometimes with our pride and and uh, you know we we put more some you know we put more weight on what other people are gonna say instead of putting weight on what jesus is gonna say you know so let's do it uh, there's one that i wanted to i think i remove it so I will do my uh, my communion so that I can call it at the night. Actually, I'm late, late today because. I was just so so tired and so but this is my mission I got to do what I need to do to do my mission this is a task okay. father we believe in your son the Lord Jesus we believe in your amazing love for us Father God, in the name of Jesus, we recognize that we have a covenant with you. This new covenant was ratified by the shed blood of Jesus on the cross at Calvary. Right now, we acknowledge that Jesus bore our sins, our sicknesses, diseases, sorrows, griefs, fears, torments, unforgiveness, strife, and lack for us. Everything on that cross. Yes, Lord, we believe that Jesus' body was broken for us. His precious blood was shed on our behalf. We praise and thank you for Jesus. Glory to your name. By Jesus' stripes, we are healed. In every cell, in every organ, in every function of our body. Thanks to Jesus, our youth is renewed. With long life, you will satisfy us, Father. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we have total and complete redemption. We are totally delivered from the devil in every single way. We are new creations in Christ. Our freedom has been bought and paid for. Yes, we are forgiven. We are redeemed. We are free. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we give you thanks. The Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. We will eat now. Thank you, Father. After the same manner also, he took the cup which he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. We take the cup in our hand and hold it up to you right now. Father, this represents the blood of the new covenant in which all our sins past, present, and future are all remitted. They are all forgiven through the blood of Jesus. Praise your holy name. Through his blood, we and our family are redeemed from every curse, every ancestral curse, from every single curse of the law. Thank you. We will drink now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are a good, good God. You gave up your son to remove the barrier standing between you and us. Thank you so much, Father. Thank you for Jesus. Thank you that above all else, you desire that we prosper and be in health even as our soul prospers. We declare a new dimension of health, a new level of faith, a new realm of energy and divine strength. We declare that we are living, walking testimonies to all those around us who are defeated in this world. We have victory and new life in Jesus. Oh, that the world would come to know you. Protect, preserve, bless and reach every single person in our family and our friends in the wonderful and precious name of jesus we pray amen amen so um 
I hope you have uh, gotten something out of this. Please, uh, I'll be praying. I've been praying to bring healing to everybody, especially who needs, because only the Lord knows who needs healing most. And I pray to God, Lord, please bring healing to us. Send the Holy Spirit in us. With all these gifts and fruits thank you Lord Jesus for this opportunity that I have to encourage people to inspire people and to bring healing to their heart their mind and body Thank you. God bless us all. Amen. Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Good night.